Hey there, welcome to Rose, your next generation spreadsheet where data comes to life. In this video, we'll be looking at how you can create an automated finance tracker in Notion using Rose. Let's dive right in. The first thing I'm going to do is hide our sidebar here, then click on data actions, search for bank account. At this point in time, our bank accounts integration connects to over 12,000 different banks across the US and the EU. And right now, we've got two actions that you can take. One is to get balance and the other to get transactions of your bank account. For now, I'm going to go ahead and click on the get transactions from a bank account option there. In case you have connected more than one bank account, you'd be able to see that from under this drop down here. In case you have more than one account in the same bank, you'd be able to see those under this drop down like so. In this case, I'm going to leave them as is. Once you're happy with this configuration, you can go ahead and click create data table. Give it a couple seconds and you should see the data being shown on the table like so. The very next thing I do is click on our automation tab and toggle on this data refresh option like so. What this does is schedule a data refresh automatically for tomorrow. This way, every day at whatever time you see here at the time zone that you specify, the data will be refreshed or new transactions would be pulled in automatically. And as you'd see on a data refresh mode, this new data would be logged on the same data table, one below another. And we've got like date, amount and description as the key to identify if the transactions are new. And if they are, they'll just be added one below another on the same table. Next, let's look at all the different data points we have received from the integration. For that, I'm going to go ahead and close this side panel here. And this is where you can see all the different data columns like so. We've got the date, the amount, currency, the description of the expenses. Our integration also provides you with a default category for these expenses as well, which you can use directly from the integration or create a column of your own to manually categorize these transactions. Alternatively, you can even use our OpenAI function to categorize some of these expenses. I'm going to go ahead and remove some of these columns that we don't need. For example, we don't need the currency column. I also don't need the bank account column or the account column either. So I'm just going to remove those for now. Next, let's look at our Notion database. I've already set up three columns here, one with transaction date, the amount and the reason or the description of the expenses that we incur. What we'll do next is push the data that we have in rows to Notion. To do that, I'm going to click on these three dots here copy link to view. I'm going to go ahead and minimize this view as well. And Rose, I'm going to go ahead and click on this plus option here. Select the formula option, the column name, send to Notion. For the formula, I'm going to type Notion, choose the add database page Notion option there. For the database in double quotes, I'm going to paste the URL that we just copied from the Notion database there. And as for the property and the values, we will have to map each of these properties that we have on the Notion database to the value that we have on rows. Let's do that. So the property in this case would be transaction date and the value is sitting all the way in cell A2. The next property would be amount and the value for that is sitting in cell B2. And the next one is reason, which is the description on our data here, which is sitting in cell C2. And you can add more of such property value pairs, but for now, I'm going to leave it as is. Close the bracket there and hit save all changes. Give it a couple seconds. And on rows, you'll see that these functions are being processed. And on Notion, you'll see the data being pushed instantaneously. There you have it. Once you have this, you can then continue to build your report inside Notion, add categories, create a chart, and so much more. I hope this video helps, and thanks for watching.